than you And then we'll take it higher I know that I'm gone They see me blowing up Now they say they want some I got two twin blocks Turn you to a dancer What's up, my quesadillas? I know I said I got a tonsil infection last video. I actually filmed that yesterday. But it's the next day, and I'm feeling a lot better. I kind of still feel it, but, like, I'm good. So I guess it wasn't too bad. I thought I was going to have to get my tonsils removed or something. But, yeah, it's a very beautiful day. Summer is coming, so we're going to spend this beautiful day at the beach. going to meet up with Max and Azar. So I've been in Japan for a year now, and this is my first time going to the beach in Japan. I mean, I have before, but when I was younger. Not this year I've been living here, though. So, yeah, I wonder what it's going to be like. Hopefully I can actually swim. I wonder. If the waves will be tubular enough for me because I'm personally more used to those gnarly wave links. So if these waves are tubular enough for me, that would toast Boogie be radical, my bro dudes. There's one thing I'm kind of scared about. I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts, which I don't usually do. I cover myself a lot and uh, a big reason for that is because I have eczema. I'm kind of self-conscious about it. I'm kind of scared about people seeing my eczema. I hope no one sees my eczema. I just pull up with it. We don't shoot. So we in Odaiba now. This is Tokyo Teleport Station. That's what it's called. That's a really weird name. I don't know why it's called Teleport, but Tokyo Teleport Station. It's pretty dope. So apparently Odaiba is an artificial island. So Japanese people just created all this. They just made this out of the ocean. How do they do that? How do you turn water? How do they make the water solid? Like this isn't ice. It's not cold or anything. Even if they turn it to ice, how do they make it look so real? Like how do they make it look like ground? This doesn't look artificial to me. This looks like real. This looks like real land, huh? I'm on the bridge right now. Is it Odaiba Kaihin Kohen? The seaside park? Alright, well, I'll go there then. Yo, Odaiba is crazy though. This is so much prettier than Shibuya. This is like the futuristic Japan that you think of when you think of Japan. I feel like I'm on vacation here. Alright, now I need to look for Nazar and Max. I thought this was gonna be like a beach. Where's the waves? I wanted some tubular wave links. This is a lake, not a beach. What the fuck? Oh, it's a cute dog. She's pregnant, not chubby. She's pregnant. It's a beautiful day today in Odaiba. Met up with Max and Nazar. Max had an internship. He's looking all spiffy right now. Mm. How are you guys? That's IB. We're taking pics out here. Odaiba, new spot. New spot, boys. Bro, it's been my spot. No, it's our spot. Nah, it's mine. Oh. Could it be mine too? No. But we could, we could share it. Nope. Yo, this is beautiful. What the heck? Is that the Statue of Liberty? I didn't know we're in New York. It's all beautiful. Well, wow. I want to get some sunglasses. I want to get some munchies. Yo, what the heck? Konnichiwa. Sumimasen. Sumimasen. Yahoo. Look at all those chickens. Look at all these chickens. Yeah, let's go to the food court so you guys can get whatever. I can get ramen. Tacos? Bro, I want tacos. Bro, I want tacos, bro. What the fuck? This is my first time getting tacos in Japan. Yeah, that's it. I'll bring some water over please. Thank you. Thank you guys. Where are you from, by the way? Uh, France. Just American, America, Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Japan. yeah Canadian, oh. Canadian. He's German, Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. That's dope, though. I have cousins in France. Oh. They live in... I don't know. This is a fried shrimp. Mm. It's got the shell on and everything, which is a little weird, but it adds an extra... An extra... Mm. Of crispiness, you know what I'm saying? Seven out of ten. <laughs> C Max. C Max, eat this shit, bro. I'll give that like a solid four out of ten. <laughs> a solid four out of ten. I would say this is definitely, it's a pretty solid yeah. two out of ten, yeah. What's up? You think you'll ever get a girlfriend? You're just gonna keep playing around? Messing around? Or you're not ready to settle down? No. I haven't found the right one, I guess. But I'm not even searching, so that's the point. If I look hard enough, I might find something. But it just doesn't like happen when you like you search for it. It yeah. happens like naturally. Naturally, right? What would be girlfriend material for you? I want a balanced girl. Like sounds weird, but like I want a bit of everything. Like spice it up a bit. I don't yeah. want it to be like gentle at the same time. I want it to have a character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want it to be like always on the same wave. You know what I'm saying? There can be a little friction here. Cool exactly, with that. like yeah. here and there. But body wise, oh. I would say. Since I'm pretty tall, I'm 6'4. I would say, I would say 5'6, five, 5'7. Five, okay. that'll, that'll be pretty good for me. Yeah, something like that. You'll see what's up. Alright. We'll All right. see what's up. What about you, Max? What's an ideal girl for you? I like guys. You just gotta have a really fat dick. Really? 
It's all about it's all about the personality, right? It's all about the wallet, right? So I just had some tacos. Ah. Mexican food is definitely better in Mexico, or at least California. We're chilling out here in a dive bar park in the middle of the ocean. We were just right there at the mall. We need to go to a dive bar more instead of Shibuya. Now we are. Chill. Like this is the place, bro. We ain't got a body rolls, huh? I don't give a fuck about none, huh? Be like for my lungs, huh? Just my car, my love, huh? Plug on, send me up, huh? Be don't send me up. I'm with Tyler, yo, slime. He ride like a cop, huh? And she with it, huh? Yo, back with Vicky, huh? Yeah. Oh my god, hold up, huh? That was not Tiffany, huh? Yeah. So in love. So in love. Don't leave. It's my fault. So while I was filming my college video a couple videos back, I realized there's a specific noise that Yu Chan reacts to. I feel like Link in Twilight Princess playing the plant thing, you know, calling Epona, or like when he plays that weed harmonica thing and gets the bird to come to him to get the baby from the monkeys, you know? If you play Twilight Princess, you know. But the sound is basically that. Check this out, all right? You just been smiling recently. She like sticks her tongue out and just and smiles. She's literally smiling. Alright, so it's like 5 o'clock right now. I'm walking to the hospital right now because basically my grandma broke her leg a week ago and so she's been in the hospital. So I've been going to see her like every day. And the hospital's pretty close actually. I can just walk there. It only takes like an hour. You might think that's long, but it's kind of a chill walk. It feels really short too because you're just going down one road and then another road. Anyway, my grandma's been in the hospital. She broke her hip or her leg or something like that. So I'm gonna go visit her. My mom came here too, so she's helping take care of my grandma. My grandma's chilling though. I'm actually more worried about my grandpa because now he's home alone and he's like 90. 596 and I'm pretty sure when you're alone you die faster. That's a thing, right? I also heard he's kind of going crazy right now He was already crazy before with dementia and everything, but he's kind of going psycho at this point I don't know. I guess he's really bored He's been just taking toilet paper and folding up toilet paper putting it down folding toilet paper folds another piece of toilet paper He just folds toilet paper. What the box? So I'm kind of worried for him I don't know if this is messed up to say but uh, I don't know. It's it's yeah, it might be it might be close it might be close yeah you probably think that's messed up to say but like he's so old like it's kind of you know i don't really think it'll happen i just can't really imagine it happening right now but he's really old please don't think i'm ah! up all right my family feels the same way i was talking to my uncle we were talking about how long my grandpa will live i said he'll probably make it to 100 he eats a lot i just don't see him dying anytime soon and my uncle was like he just needs to die already it is messed up but it's like he's like an old sack of skin at this point it's just i just feel like at a certain point you know it would just be better you know, at this point, if he just, you know, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Is that up? That's not f***ed up, is it? No, but seriously, when I've been going to the hospital, there's a bunch of other old people around, all just sick, laying in bed. They look like they're all just struggling to live their last day, breathing like... Just hanging on to their last thread of life. I feel like at that point, it's just... Just... Just cut the cord, you know? I feel like it's sadder just seeing all these old people like this instead of just letting them... You know, not killing them, but like... You know, just set them free. There's gotta be a fun way to go, you know what I'm saying? Like, the way I would want to go is probably just overdose on heroin or something. Because at least you get to try heroin before you die. I don't know. I heard it feels really good. Or just, like, skydive without a parachute. That'd be fun. I don't know. Maybe I'm f***ed up, but I feel like it's more f***ed up to keep all these old people alive. And they're literally just... I don't even think they want to live themselves. We don't even need to kill old people. We just gotta, like... We don't need to keep giving them resources just to make them live, you know, an extra couple years for nothing. I guess I got my own bar. My uncle told me too, he'd probably just want to like die in his 80s because the brain starts deteriorating at like 83 and he'll just need people to help him when he's old and like he doesn't want people to have to aid him. My uncle's pretty selfless. He's always helping people and never expects anything in return. So shout out to my uncle. But yeah, I can see his point. Like I'd probably just want to die in my 80s too. I wouldn't want to live that long. And there are some old people who are good, you know, there's 100 year olds that are doing fine. They don't got to die. But I'm just talking about the old people who are just broken down in the hospital, like literally just not even moving. They're just living 
living for the sake of living. I say we have a new law where like when you hit 90 years old, you can just like choose whether you want to die or not. And you can choose like some fun way to go, you know? Something like that, I don't know. Maybe those old people on their last breaths want to live. I don't know, but I really doubt it. I definitely wouldn't want to be living at that point. It's kind of a sad conversation, but I'm just speaking my thoughts. I don't know if, oh shit. It's all I did. I ate dinner with my mom and my grandpa, and now I'm going to my grandparents' place. My mom's taking a bus with my grandpa. I kind of forgot where it was. I haven't been here in so long. Do you guys remember when I stayed with my grandparents? That was a long time ago. I haven't been here in a fat minute. I kind of miss it here a little bit. But I like my uncle's place because it got Wi Fi. Last time I was here, when I lived here with my grandparents, I was vlogging on my phone. Now I got a nice camera. Do you guys remember this? It's been a couple months, but damn, this is nostalgic. It's kind of depressing, honestly. Kind of puts me in some weird, depressing vibes. It's weird being here. Now that I think about it, I don't think I told you guys the story of why I moved out of this place. All right, so basically, my grandpa has dementia. He would forget who I am every morning. And eventually he got more and more hostile towards me. It kind of started with a long time ago where he got scammed by some young Chinese dude. My grandpa met this guy and he was cool. He was Chinese and my grandpa's Chinese. So they got along well. They were talking and the young Chinese dude sells my grandpa this gold Buddha or something. I don't even know. Some gold thing. But he had some whole story. He got my grandpa to feel bad for him and basically just scammed him out of a lot of money and so i think since i'm like a young maybe more taller maybe i just kind of like remind him of of that and he has bad eyes like cataracts i think and he can't really see too well so when he sees me and he doesn't remember anything he sees some random dude in the house maybe trying to scam him or something like that but yeah he would basically just not know who i am think that i'm some bad person or something i don't know but even when i would tell him who i am he literally forgets like in a minute and then just like starts looking at me like like, who, who is this dude? He would kind of get mad at me a lot. One time, like, at 3 in the morning, he just started banging on my door right here and just, like, started yelling. And, like, I don't even know. I'm not, like, you know, villain, villaining him, villainizing him. It's literally his just, like, mental problems and stuff. It wasn't too big of a deal. I was still taking care of them. But, yeah, it just got worse over time. I remember I wouldn't even want to go to the bathroom because I would have to go downstairs and have my grandpa see me. And then he would just, just be a little hostile. I don't know. It would just be weird. So, yeah, that's why it's kind of, like, weird being here now. But, yeah, eventually my grandpa kicked me out. That's why I didn't post for, like, three or four weeks back in October. I took a long break. I'm just dealing with shit. But, anyway, that's it. I'm just editing this vlog right now. And I just saw that I didn't even say that my grandpa kicked me out. So, I'm saying that here. And I also forgot to do an outro so here's your outro thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when i upload and i like potatoes yeah i like potatoes Shall we?